And if you understand nothing else, or remember nothing else about this morning, please remember this. This is the full purpose, or I think it's guiding principle of Tesco. To continuously create value for customers to earn their lifetime loyalty. So that's what we believe we're there to do. We should, we should do the same thing here. Yeah. 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 The re reason it's so important, and the reason I will stick on it, it has two basic ideas in it, which pretty well determines the way we approach anything. The first idea is this idea of continuously creating value for customers, because we fundamentally believe that nobody, no brand to exist just because it existed in the past. In truth, no company has the right to exist just because it existed in the brand in the past. The only reason it exists is if it can create value for customers, not just yesterday, but create value for customers now. You might get away with it for a little bit, but unless you're creating value for customers as they live their lives today, then you don't really have any right to exist at all. If you think about the number of businesses now, the number of brands that keep disappearing, I mean, you just see the list keeps going on and on at the moment. The speed of that's becoming ever more true. So that's one idea that lies behind it. So you can never rest on your logos in other words. But that doesn't interest me. Um, and then the second thing in there is this point about earning lifetime loyalty. If you want to build brands and businesses that last, then you have to build the loyalty of your customers and be interested not just not in sort of getting the quick buck, not in achieving the next quarter's earnings or whatever. What we're actually interested in is that customer not just wanting to shop with you today, but wanting to shop with you next week, next month, <coughs> next year, for their kids to shop with you, for a rest of the family shop with you, and so on and so on and so on. 